Hello students, I am Dr. Aruna Mohan from Delhi University and today I will discuss about the organs other than kidney for excretion in our body. In earlier discussions, we did discuss in detail about kidney, about excretion and the process of excretion and we have understood why it is so important for us to throw out toxic substances, waste products and anything which is in excess. Other than kidney, we have some more organs who help us in excretion, for example, liver, skin and lungs. Let us discuss about lung first. Lungs are very important. We have two lungs in our thoracic cavity. Thoracic cavity is airtight compartment and it is important for proper functioning of lungs. How we bring lung into excretory system. That is what I want to explain to you today. We take in air through our nose and that air goes to lungs and from that air we want to take oxygen and then give out carbon dioxide. How do we take oxygen? This air when it reaches lungs, the blood capillaries which are present in lung, they will accept oxygen through hemoglobin and carry this oxygen throughout the body in each and every organ and cell of the body. In turn, it will bring back carbon dioxide. As you know, my dear students, the oxygen is utilized in burning of glucose in the cell to give you energy in the form of ATP and the byproduct is going to be carbon dioxide. Now this carbon dioxide, the cell will release into the blood and this blood will now go towards the lungs and after reaching the lung, this carbon dioxide is given to air or it will come out as air or expiration. So through your nose, you are taking air in, you are giving air out. What you are taking in has more of oxygen, what you are giving out has more of carbon dioxide. Now this process is helped by lungs. Suppose we did not have the lung, then our blood could not receive oxygen and hence our cells also could not. This is one thing. Second thing which is more important that carbon dioxide which is released after oxidation of glucose through oxygen, that carbon dioxide could not be given out if we did not have the lungs and then this carbon dioxide level will go on increasing in blood and finally the toxicity level will increase so much that it will result into collapse of the body. That means carbon dioxide is definitely toxic for our body and it should be thrown out. That means it is excretory product and for excretion of this carbon dioxide, the only organ which we use primarily is lung and that is how lungs are included as other organs of excretion. We have one trachea that divides into two branches and each will go into one lung and it will bifurcate, again bifurcate, again bifurcate till the division becomes very small and very thin like alveoli. Why this is happening? To increase the surface area for respiration and all this is done by nature to help us throw excretory product carbon dioxide in this particular case. I am sure my dear students, you are now appreciating role of lungs in excretion. So far, you must be thinking that the lungs, they are part of respiratory system and hence they help respiration, but they are equally helping in excretion. Now second excretory organ other than kidney and lungs is liver. Liver is an important gland. Of course, it is also known as associated gland of elementary canal or in other words digestive system. That means it is part of digestive system, but 
at the same time it is an organ of excretion also you sometimes take some medicine in the form of drugs you have fever you take some medicine you have cough you have taken some other antibiotic so whatever medicines you take that is degraded in the body and whatever is required by your body is left in the body and whatever is extra is thrown out through liver all the vitamins they break down and the part which you don't require that goes out through liver so liver does the function of giving out those things which become excess in our body especially the vitamin breaking and medicines or drugs breaking so liver becomes important through its secretion of bile and bile salts it will also throw these toxic substances and where will it throw the hepatic duct opens into the duodenum of alimentary canal hence everything will reach the alimentary canal and these toxic substances which liver is trying to throw out will go along with the food material down the intestine large uh, intestine rectum and it is thrown out along with the feces so liver does its role of excretion in a very different way sometimes we have fever sometimes we are not well whatever toxic substances are produced at that time they are also released through liver and hence we can't afford to disturb functioning of liver in any way those who drink alcohol they destroy their liver and hence liver cannot perform its work so it is advisable not to have wrong habits of smoking or taking tobacco or taking any unwanted things or taking unwanted drugs or taking additional drugs and that will damage the liver so we now appreciate how important it is for us to keep our liver healthy and functional so that it does its job for us for total life we live in addition to this liver is going to give bile which is going to help in digestion of fats which we will discuss when we come to digestive system the third organ of excretion which i would like to discuss now is your skin which covers your body all over it is an organ of excretion other than kidney lungs and liver you all know that when it is very hot in summers we give out sweat of course the primary role of uh, sweating is to bring about cooling effect on the body but along with that it is doing one more job and that is excretion you will be surprised to know that little amount of urea and uric acid are also given out along with the sweat you know how difficult and complicated it is even for kidney to excrete out urea and uric acid it is very complex phenomena and also very difficult one but sweat the drop which comes out from your skin it is carrying very small amount of urea and uric acid and of course salt which salt which is extra in the body and not it won't make our body low on salt but whatever is extra that will go out there is a mechanism to control it so this is one thing skin is doing for us sweat removing little bit of urea uric acid and sodium ion other thing we have sebaceous gland in the skin which give out little wax little sebum oily kind of secretion that also carries along with it some excretory products from the body so skin is also considered as an organ of excretion or you can say an additional organ for excretion the person who doesn't sweat at all it is not a very good thing because skin is doing its job and if skin is doing its job perfectly then there is less stress on other excretory organs in the body this was about lung liver and skin i would also like to talk about saliva at this point of time 
Of course, I did not include saliva as excretory organ, but in saliva also there are some toxic substances which are being removed through saliva or in other words saliva contains some toxic substances that means it is getting rid our body of those toxic substances. So, saliva can be considered indirectly a way to throw excretory things from our body. Now, children you must understand that our body is well equipped to throw unwanted substances from the body. But before that I would like to tell you should we not be careful about not collecting unwanted substances in our body? If we take extra salt now it is pressure on our kidney. If we take very high protein diet very high of course protein is important for your muscular development for your growth but it should be optimum amount of protein and light protein which will help you to grow gracefully and nicely and physiologically sound body. But if you take too much of protein and too much of heavy protein let me say the non veg protein or if you come to veg protein then heavier side will be like gram or rasma or urad dal those kind of proteins if they are high in your body then they will produce more of nitrogenous waste. You know uh, students that nitrogen is part of protein chain. So, whenever you are taking protein nitrogen is produced, nitrogenous waste product is produced. Having protein is important take light protein, do not go for heavy protein always, sometimes you can go not always and this will help your kidney not to have stress of removing so much of nitrogen from your body and this nitrogen is removed in the form of urea and uric acid and it is not advisable to have too much of urea and too much of uric acid in your body. So, we cannot afford to collect urea and uric acid in the blood, but it will be collected if your kidney is not able to do it. So, let us see to it that we do not eat such things so that our kidney is too much pressured. Of course, alcohol etc is bad in other way that will damage the kidney. Coming to liver, alcohol directly damages liver and if you damage your liver, first thing you cannot remove toxic substances, second thing you cannot digest your fats. The food which you eat is having some amount of fat that will not be digested unless you have bile from the liver. So, you cannot afford to disturb your liver as well. Coming to lungs, if you disturb lungs by alcohol, by tobacco or by some other means, then there will be patches or some area of the lung will become non-functional. That means your respiration will be affected. That will also mean that your oxygen carrying capacity will be affected. Carbon dioxide throwing capacity will be affected and if that happens, then you cannot collect carbon dioxide even for one full minute and you can very well imagine the result. So, it is for us to take care of our body each and every organ in this particular case your kidney, your lungs, your liver, your skin and of course, your buccal cavity which is giving you saliva. So, in today's session we have learned about the other organs, the organs other than kidneys which perform role of excretion in our body and we have also understood that any excretory product cannot be collected indefinitely in the body and that should be thrown out and for throwing out we should have some medium, some organ, some process, some way and that is what we have learned. After knowing this we will definitely appreciate that excretory organs are important and excretory products should be thrown out and now we know the process the organ and the system how it happens in our body. Thank you.